Good morning. Today we're doing lesson 1.7. Make a 10 to subtract. I can make a 10 to help me subtract quickly and accurately. I can also make math arguments. Solve and share. 14 ladybugs are on a leaf. Six ladybugs fly away. How can thinking about 10 help you find how many ladybugs are left? Explain. I'm going to use counters today to explain how to do this. First of all, I'm putting down my 14 counters. I'm filling in my 10 frame with my blocks. So it says I have 14 ladybugs on a leaf. So there's my 14 ladybugs. Six ladybugs fly away. But first of all, I have to think about 10. So if I take away four ladybugs, that leaves me with 10. But I'm going to need to have six fly away. So to make it easier, I'm going to take two away from my 10. So there's six. So now I only have to figure out the 10 minus two. See what's left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 14 minus six leaves me with eight. Finding 10 minus two was a lot easier than finding 14 minus six. On the next page, we're gonna look at other ways using 10 for subtraction. Find 13 minus seven. You can use 10 to help you subtract. One way to start is with seven and add three to get to 10. Seven plus three equals 10. There it has seven red counters and three yellow counters. Next, add three more to make 13. 10 plus three equals 13. So they added three more yellow counters. 7 plus 6 equals 13. So 13 minus 7 equals 6. I added 6 to 7 to make 13. Another way is to start with 13 and subtract 3 to get 10. 13 minus 3 equals 10. So they put 13 counters down and then subtracted three of them to get back to 10. Since three plus four is seven, subtract four more. 10 minus four equals six. He says, I've subtracted seven and have six left. There he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he says six counters left. So, 13 minus seven equals six. Let's try a few of those on our own so we can see what they're talking about. Convince me, do you prefer to add first to get 10 or subtract first to get 10? Explain. Let me think about that for a minute. Would I rather add or subtract? i rather add because it is easier to add than to subtract. I will write that down. I would rather add than subtract because it is easier
to add, then subtract. So let's see how that works if we are doing it in our problems. First, add to get 10. So the problem is 15 minus 8, which is showing us the answer is 7. But let's see how they got that. So first they have 15 on our counters. They said we first broke it down to 8 and made it to 10. So we have 8 red counters with 2 white counters. And we broke it down 8 plus 2 is 10. And then we took the 10 from the 15 and added five more, which gave us our 15. That gives us two plus seven, which is our answer, seven. So seven is what's left from 15 minus eight. And that gives us our answer to our problem. On number two, we're going to subtract first. First subtract to get 10. 16 minus seven. So we have 16 on there, but we're going to have to subtract to get 10. So to get 10, we're gonna to have to take six away. So first we're gonna take out six of our counters to get 10. but there's one left over. So we're going to have to make sure that we take that one out. So 10 minus one gives us nine left. So nine is our answer. 16 minus seven equals nine. Very nice job on using tens to subtract. Next, you're going to pause your video and do your independent practice. When you're done with your independent practice, go to your second video for problem solving.